Well, we are sitting here with John from Skillet. John. Yeah, we are. Yeah, all right. Sorry, go ahead. No, you're good. Okay, now, Skillet, you guys uh, have been a band since when now? Take us back. 1996. Okay. I know that's ridiculous mm -hmm. that you've only just heard of us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's been okay. a long time. But yes, we have been a, we've been a band since 96. Uh, Our first record came out. Okay, okay. And we great. have eight albums out. <clears throat> yeah, okay. First, I guess you'd say the first four were independent, really. Okay. A really small label in Memphis, Tennessee. Right. That's where we're from. Okay. So that's also part of it. We got signed by Atlantic Records in uh, 2003. Right. That was our first release. Okay. With him. Right. And now your biggest album, the one that just you know hit mm -hmm. uh, not too long ago, Awake. Yep. Yep. Just came out back last year, 2009. That's right. It's been out for about eight months now. Exactly. Exactly. And I mean, honestly, you've had. I, I bought the album and love every song on it, but the, you've had real popularity with Monster and Hero. Yeah. Can I tell us, you know, what those songs really mean to the band and like where you got your inspiration with those? Oh yeah, sure. Well, thanks for that, by the way. I appreciate yeah, that. I'm no glad problem. you like the record. Um, Monster was a kind of a cool song to me because I got the idea when I was watching the Hulk. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty lame, but the Hulk movie was wicked. All right, let right. me rewind. I love comic books. Okay. Uh, and I grew up, I was a big Spider-Man, X-Men nice. fan, all that, Batman. So, exactly. <clears throat> never liked the Hulk. Um, and my buddy was like, you got to see this new Hulk movie. And I was like, I don't know. Because the other Hulk movie I thought was lame. Yeah. He made me go see it. And it was really, the, honestly, it was the first time I ever understood what the Hulk was about. Like yeah. this kind of rage that takes over. And I was thinking, you know what? I know <laughs> I know what that's like. You're having a bad day. And oh, yeah. You're, Definitely. Yeah, it's the worst day ever. And then some idiot just says the wrong thing to you, you know, and you're like, that's it, you know, yeah. and you don't want to be that way, but that's the monster, and yeah. that's what I got the idea right. for monster, so it was kind of, kind of cool, and for us, we kind of stripped back a lot of, of our production, Skillet is kind of known for a lot of orchestra, you know, symphony orchestration, and um, guitar solos, and programming, and, and, yeah. and we, we stripped all that back and just did straight up rock. I thought that would be good for the song title. Okay, great. And then Hero, the idea came for Hero. This is, it gets a little eh, deep for me, but... After you become that monster, you need somebody to... That's you know, right, save me. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. The idea for Hero came because... Uh, I've got a daughter that's seven, right? Oh, and right, right. Um, yeah, thank you. Yeah, she's cool. And uh, so I'm in Target with my daughter. Okay. And uh, once you have kids, you start becoming very aware of all the magazines as you're checking out <laughs> yeah. all these naked people, half naked people in magazines. <laughs> and it's all like, you know, sex moves. And this, and my, yep. my daughter's like, what's a sex move? I'm like, that's it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, exactly. you know, uh, that was one of these things. I, I was really down because I was looking at this magazine. I had this, you know, this teen idol person, she's going into rehab for, you know, uh, what is, she's making herself throw up, oh, and right, won't eat right. properly, yep. and, and and drug abuse, and, and I was just really annoyed because it was the same actress that like four months earlier yeah. was had the bikini bod for the summer, you know, and I'm like, no, this isn't right, I don't want my daughter growing up in this <laughs> weird thing, so I thought, you know what, I want to write a song about that, didn't have, didn't know how I wanted to do it, but I was thinking, who's my daughter going to look up? Up to right, yeah. and then during the same week, there was another accusation of this you know, Catholic priest, uh, you know, abusing some right. you know boy, and it just, you know what, it just pissed me off. And I thought, you know what, if you can't trust your priest, <laughs> people, yeah. come on, we need a yeah. hero. And that was when I had yeah. the idea for that song. Oh, it's a great song. I mean, there's real good meaning behind it. You know, no, knowing you. what we know now, I and mean, if we can get out to the people, that's you know, that's what they need to know. Yeah. So um, awesome. You know, uh, really. You guys have, you know, a wide fan base now. You know, you said it took you a little while to get, you know, up in popularity, <laughs> but, you know, you're here now, and I'm yeah. sure it's a nice road. But uh, what is your favorite form of fan interactions? I mean, you got out there playing yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Taking that off the table. What do you like? Taking that off? <clears throat> Honestly, uh, man, like, w w somebody, me, you meet, I meet a fan, mm -hmm. or they sometimes they'll give me a note, and, or they'll just tell me themselves, you know, like, hey, you guys had a song that you know, talk me off the ledge, so to speak, you know, right. this song helped me decide not to commit suicide. I, I hear oh, that a lot. Yeah. I think because our songs are kind of hopeful, 
we have a lot of you know kind of like hero they're, they're right. meant to be inspiring and people say man you know what I, I didn't want to live anymore and that song helped me you know exactly. um, that is all out the best thing about you know this yeah. job because you're like well, I wrote a song that because when you're writing a song you know you it means something to you and you hope that people like it but it's hard to imagine that it would affect somebody in that kind of a way exactly so then you feel humbled you feel small you know like wow I'm a little tiny piece of something yeah. really good going on that's the best I, I love our fans so I love okay. fan interaction okay well then uh, I know you gotta get going here pretty soon but last question what's one of your favorite songs to perform now monster yeah absolutely you know it's uh it's the one that everybody knows you know exactly. and and now I'm like wow, that's what happens everybody when they play a song on radio <laughs> yeah and everybody gets everybody gets wild awesome. and gets yeah. a little little rowdy well I know I mean I've been playing guitar for about five years now just you know put teach awesome. myself after this one he taught me you know a little bit of stuff awesome. right. and he monster is one of the me, I never got old. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gave up but uh, when the album came out like monster that that sounds like an awesome song to play and I picked it up and I'm okay you know, right. I'm not yeah. great by any means, but love, one of my favorite songs is playing guitar. Really? Too. Oh, oh yeah. that's great to hear. Thanks that's very awesome. much, man. Well, John, thank you for your time. Absolutely. Uh, Good to talk to you guys. Exactly. So we, we're still here with, with John on uh, with Skeleto. With all these bands, John, what is it like to play with all of them? Uh, you know, I feel stupid because the bands are, are all amazing. I told my manager, I mean, my road manager a little while ago, it feels really weird being the absolute no-name band <laughs> of a festival. But, I mean, there's such amazing bands. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a humongous Rob Zombie fan. Really? Yeah, I'm going to be like one of those starstruck idiots. They're, they're not going to let me come within like 50 feet of them, probably. Yeah. And my daughter's name, my last name is Cooper. My daughter's name is Alex Cooper. So, uh, uh, you know, I'm kind of like, I'm was wondering. Was that on purpose? Or that it wasn't on purpose, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to tell, I didn't want to make my wife aware of the connection. Let's yeah. just say that. <laughs> Until she figured it out on her own, right? Because <laughs> here's, the, here's the story, see. I, we were having a daughter. I was like, I want to name her like Phoenix, you know, yeah. or Electra. And all, my wife's like, no, we're not naming her after a stripper. Uh, I was like, that's not a stripper. Anyway, so we had this big fight about that. And then my wife's like, no, we're going to have a nice name. So then my wife comes back and she goes, hey, what do you think about the name Alexandria? And I said, yeah, whatever you want, that's fine. She goes, yeah, but I was thinking we call her Alex. And I said, oh, like Alex Cooper? She goes, yeah. And I was like, that's fine with me. <laughs> Sounds good, baby. Count it. <laughs> so. Anyway, it's very awesome to be here. I'm, I'm pumped up to be with these bands. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you live. It's my first time seeing you. I don't know if you guys awesome, have seen that, but it'll be great. Try to crank it up. There we go.